What up, YouTube? Doom NYC here with a banlist review. Uh, this is after this is after the banlist um, has already been posted by Konami, so all this stuff is obviously legit. Um, a lot of changes in the format. I can see a lot of things are going to be different. So let's start off with the stuff that got banned. First off, uh, Fishborg Blaster. Uh, I must say I'm a little surprised that this is banned. I mean, even at one, you know, it still, you know, can be used for like, you know, OTK combos and stuff like that. But still, I think if they would have limited it to one, it would have slowed it down a little bit. This really hurts, obviously, fish OTK. I mean, they did bring out a lot of uh, new fish stuff, but as far as... Uh, Formula Monarchs are concerned like that deck is dead right now so Fishball got banned um Mind Master I did say this was gonna get banned so no surprise here um again Psychics did get a little support in a new generation force so I can't you know say I'm surprised about that at all Giant Trunade I did say this was getting banned um and it did get banned it's it's unfortunate it's unfortunate that this got banned, but we ended up getting even better stuff in return, so I'll get to that in a sec. And the last card to go on the ban list was Royal Oppression. This should have never even gone to one, much less, and now it's banned, so it's gone. It's uh, either one of two things. Either Konami wants you to shell out 90 bucks for Steel Swan Roach, or... They just want to promote their new set, you know, exceed summoning and all that. So that's kind of understandable from a money perspective. And that's a good reason why they would have banned Royal Oppression. But I think this card would have been like the, you know, the game breaker in this format. And now it's gone. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, Blackluster Soldier. I said this would come back to one and it did. It was pretty obvious. I think one person commented and said that. This was never going to come back off the ban list. I don't know what that guy was smoking, but uh, this was pretty obvious. They wouldn't have reprinted it. And, I mean, especially with the priority rule gone, like, you know, this is still a really good card, and I can't wait to start playing Twilight. Um, Next card, Debris Dragon. I actually didn't think that this card would get hit again only because the plant engine doesn't revolve around debris dragon so i don't see the point in actually you know limiting this to one but again it slows down black rose plays and it slows down traditional plays a lot of different things so i guess it makes sense um lone fire to one this was pretty obvious uh they couldn't hit anything else in the plant engine so this was the most obvious choice all right for the synchros formula went to one i did say it would and it makes perfect sense this card is way too good um, Legendary Six Samurai Sheehan. This actually took me by surprise. I thought they'd rather hit the monsters, but they put this to one. So basically now, what Samurai has to do is when they get like enough to sink for a level 5, they just have to have like Catasters and Nichuria Beast in their deck. I don't see um, putting Sheehan to one as something that's going to stop them. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Because you can still go first turn Shein. Uh Hyper Librarian went to one. I think this this was pretty obvious. I don't really have to talk about that. Same thing with this. Trishula, you know, it was one at one in the OCG. So, they just made it even there. Okay, big card coming back. Heavy Storm. This is actually amazing. Um, I really like, I mean, Trunade. All you could do basically to Trinade was, you know, Dark Bribe it or Solemn Judgment it. But now with Heavy, now you have other options because this destroys. So if you got that face of Stardust, I see a lot more Stardust Dragons being summoned now. Um, also, Starlight Road is going to be huge in this next format. So I definitely, but I like this coming back. I think it's good. It's, it causes people to watch how much they set, and also it's going to bring back, you know, Trap Dust Shoot, so that's going to be cool. Pot of Avarice went to one. I think I said this was going to two, but, you know, one or two would have been, you know, the same thing. It went to one. This card is really, really good. Um, 
in the format that we're playing everything's revolving around the graveyard i think they're trying to change that and shift to everything uh, revolving around the banished pile so we'll see what happens i can definitely see in the future konami making a pot of avarice for the banished pile where you will you know choose five of your banished monsters you know put them back in your deck and shuffle and draw two i definitely see that as a possibility and the last card to go to one she and smoke signal i did say this would go to one it was pretty obvious samurais can search way too much so uh, that's a card to slow them down okay now for the stuff that went to two this actually made me really happy necro gardener to two wow that's incredible uh, Twilight is going to be fantastic this format. Um, if you guys, you know, don't have that Light Sworn stuff, you know, go ahead and get that. Because now you're going to be able to run Plague Spreader, Necro Gardener, Dark Armed, Chaos Sorcerer, Gores, Black Luster Soldier. It's going to be ridiculous. So, this is going to be good. Oh, I also, um, I skipped one card that went to one. It was Primal Seed. I uh, don't actually can't find that card right now because it's like a common and I have like boxes full of cards I'm not gonna look through that just for that card so but yeah primal seed it's a card for black Luster soldier when he's on the field you can add two of your remove from play monsters back to your hands pretty pretty broken card actually since a lot of people are gonna be using black Luster soldier now so they limited it to one before anything got crazy all right next card that went to two summon a monk I honestly Again, this has to go with them trying to advertise, you know, exceed summoning because Summoner Monk gets exceeds out really easy. Um, you don't have to worry about synchroing now. And then, of course, two Summoner Monks is going to actually make a really good combo for any exceeds that need three level fours. This is going to be pretty broken. And if that happens, then this is going to go back to one. Trigodia to 2, again, they're promoting Exceed Summoning. Uh, this guy can change levels. He can take control of your opponent's monsters permanently. This is really good. Um, him at 2, I think that that's fantastic. Again, going along with the whole Exceed thing. Uh, Deloran to 2, that doesn't really stop that deck that much. I mean, they need 3, but I think they could probably pull it off with 2. I think they should have still went to 1. But regardless, um, if people stop using it, then it's just going to stay at 2. Destiny Draw. How many guys were happy when they saw this on the list? Finally, they gave us back a draw card. And for D-Heroes, no less. You know, an archetype that had died some formats ago can hopefully come back. Maybe Absolute Zero, you know, will be a big part of that. I don't know. But, you know, it's good to see that D draw back at 2. Swords of Revealing Light. I don't really care too much about this card. I just, I don't think it's that good. Um, it's annoying, especially if someone plays it on you. And it's going to force you to waste an MST. But in this format, that's not really going to matter. And I'm going to get to that in a sec. So, Swords of Revealing Light. Uh, 2 Call It a Haunted. Now... What's surprising to me is that they didn't ban Monster Reborn, and now they brought Call of the Haunted to two. Granted, you know, with the whole MST thing, but even still, you can still call a Dandelion or a Sangin, still get the effects, still get the plus one. That's really good. Um, I think that, I mean, I don't know what they're thinking, actually, because now we have so many revive cards. This is going to be a crazy format, guys. Um, let me just tell you. Uh, Mind Crush went to two. I think this is awesome. I think uh, because Tech Genesis won Nats, I think they made it so that okay, if everybody wants to search, 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 then then basically you know we just play Mind Crush and you'll have to throw away all those cards. So Mind Crush to two, really good, really good card and good choice. All right, now we're gonna get to the stuff that's unlimited. Judgment Dragon. Um. They really want us to play Twilight again. It's crazy. I don't understand this actually. And it's pretty funny too because like you can do some crazy plays with this. So I don't know. I mean, you know, if you had like Dragoonity Phalanx in the grave, you summon Judgment Dragon. Let's just say you were playing some cross hybrid build like that. And then you paid a thousand, you cleared the field, and then you know you you 
monster born phalanx or something and you went into trident dragon and you just attack for game I don't know and then with this at three it kind of makes light swarms formidable again I mean really formidable and it makes twilight even better tier one I'm in my opinion so can't wait to see what happens there uh, Spirit Reaper, I did say this was going back to three. Someone did comment and say they don't want to play a format with three Spirit Reapers, but I think I thought this was an inevitable, and it happened. So maybe you guys want to go old school, play three Smashing Ground and three Spirit Reaper, and and you know play like that. But the minus one on your opponent is really good. Great stall, level three, so it's a debris dragonable. Um, I think that card's really good. Mega Morph to 3, it doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, people were talking about Demise OTK last format. Nobody played it. Nobody played it when Mega Morph was at 2. It didn't really make much of a difference. And especially with the way things are now, you know, you don't really want to have any face up uh, spells or traps. So I don't really see a big deal about that. MST going to 3. Now, this is the thing. I thought Trunade would get banned, Heavy Storm would stay banned, and MST would go to 3. Well, Heavy Storm came back and MST still went to three that is amazing uh, talk about everyone's gonna be scared to set back rows now it's gonna be such a crazy format oh my god I may even wanna like throw in fake trap or something who knows how that's gonna work but that's crazy MST going to three overload fusion everybody knew this was coming off uh, no reason to keep this on the ban list cause no one's playing that deck or anything like it so not really much to mention there. Um, Gravity Bind going to three. It went straight from one to three. That's awesome. Uh, again, this is t promoting exceeds. Exceeds don't have levels. They have ranks. So Gravity Bind isn't going to affect them. Um, I definitely see this being played in like the smaller decks. Maybe like gadget decks and stuff. Uh, or decks that just use a lot of small monsters. I don't really want to say, you know... Uh, tour guide Tengu because that deck's really good right now and it plays a lot of level threes but gravity bind to three let's see I mean three spirit reapers three gravity binds you know two magic cylinders there might be a lot of stall burn decks coming out so we'll watch out for those and finally Icarus attack this card went back to three I guess Konami said that we have enough um, hate on black wings so why not bring this back to three they decided not to hit them again they actually helped them by giving this by giving this back you know I honestly thought that Icarus to two was fair but you know Icarus to three okay no problem so that is the bandless review let me know what you guys think uh, leave your comments down below and until next time YouTube peace